breaking news for you. ABC's Aaron Katursky is reporting that Tom Brady's suspension of four games of the NFL has been suspended. The judge in the case has sided with Tom Brady and has said and told the NFL that they do not have a right to suspend Tom Brady for four games. Tom Brady's four-game suspension has been overturned by a judge. This is breaking news. It just happened. We'll get more information uh, as uh, things continue on. But let's take a second and sort of remind everybody what's going on because the uh, commissioner, Roger Goodell, uh, had an investigation, had a meeting, talked to them. Tom Brady did not... um, uh, participate in that investigation and destroyed evidence. The two kids who were um, sort of involved with this, who they got all the information from, they've been uh, fired from the Patriots and sent away, uh, never to be heard from again. The ruling comes down a four game suspension. They appeal. Roger Goodell listens to the appeal, has a conversation, and lo and behold, upholds the four game suspension. Tom Brady's people and his camp says, wait a minute, the commissioner has no right to, to, to punish me for any reason. And so therefore takes it to court, which is interesting. This is more than just deflating footballs. This is an, a union negotiated contract between the players union and the owners. And in that contract, it says... That Roger Goodell, as commissioner, has the sole responsibility, the sole authority to punish the players for wrongdoings. Tom Brady and his people said no. They took it to court. And the judge, just moments ago, has ruled that Tom Brady is correct. That Roger Goodell does not have a right to, um, to punish... The NFL players. Now, think about this for a second. What, what does that mean to the larger question? So, if I say something stupid on the air and I get suspended from work, KTRS is not allowed to suspend me? I can take them to court and say, no, you can't suspend me? This is unbelievable. I, I know it's a stupid deflating of football, but it's a bigger issue here. I cannot believe that a judge imposed himself on a labor contract that has been negotiated in good faith between the players and the owners. I don't care if it's the UAW and the and the and the car dealers, I don't care if it's the other teamsters, I don't care if it's um, baseball union versus all. I don't care what the union and the, uh, the the workers and the and the ownership union is. This is not. This has nothing to do with baseball or uh, sports. This has nothing to do with football. This has to do with the simple fact that this was a negotiated um, uh, right. The players. A little bit of history here. The players didn't like Roger Goodell having all of this power to just superimpose all of his arbitrary, in their words, and capricious um, uh, rulings. And so they went to their latest bargaining uh, negotiations. They went in saying, hey, we, we want Roger Goodell not to have as much much power. So the owner said, well, wait a minute. We want Roger Goodell to have all of this power. We'll give you something else. So the player said, okay, great. We will drop that demand for something else. It was negotiated. And so now the players are upset, so now the players, no, no, that's really unfair. No, he shouldn't give us four games. He, so basically, this they have lost, They what was the one, uh, the Adrian Peterson was overturned as well. So basically, the NFL has no right, and the commissioner has no right to suspend or punish players for anything. If they break the rules, if they break the law, if they beat up their girlfriend, if they beat up their kid, if they um, play fast and loose with the, with the rules that are agreed to by both teams, 
Basically, the NFL has no right and the commissioner has no right whatsoever to punish its players. This is unbelievable. This, now, granted, in terms of full disclosure, I think he's the devil. And this is the reason why I think he's the devil. Because this man doesn't live by the rest of our rules. Basic science doesn't exist in his world. He has his own set of rules. Um, wow, that is just outrageous. That is just outrageous. Not only, not only do we have to deal with all this, but then on top of this, we have to deal with the insufferable New England Patriot fans. That's even worse. Uh, I need some phone calls because if I keep talking, uh, KTRS is going to have to suspend me because I got steam coming out of my ears. 314-969-KTRS, 1-888-550-KTRS, or star KTRS. Those are the phone numbers. We have um, ABC News is breaking in. We'll have an update at uh, 9.30, so down the line, David, 9.30.30, we'll be taking a uh, status uh, update from ABC. They will give us the note. They'll, they'll give us the official word in uh, about five minutes or now. Let's do this. 314-969-KTRS, 1-888-550-KTRS, or star KTRS. Those are the phone numbers. Let's get to, um, uh, is it... Uh, I, I can't tell. Uh, no, that's that's from yesterday. All right. Um, I, I th- this was just breaking. If you're just joining us, the judge nullifies Tom Brady's four game suspension. Tom Brady beats the NFL, so it is okay to manipulate anything they want whenever they want with no punishment to be had. Which basically means, so I mean, you know, superimpose this on St. Louis and the Rams. When they keep talking about, well, you know, the NFL owner bylaws, the NFL bylaws, no, who cares? Who cares? These people get what they want. And the only thing was, the only thing interesting about this is that these were two groups of people who get everything they want. So when two people want get everything they want, that's when they go to court. And then, of course, it's interesting because one group is not going to get what they want which is interesting because they always get what they want. You and me, we don't get what we want, right? We take the scraps and people say, hey, you know what? You're lucky you're getting the scraps. (laughs) You're you're lucky we're letting you build an NFL stadium. (laughs) By golly. Yeah, but we don't have any bridges or roads to get to that stadium. Don't you worry about that. You just be lucky you're going to spend money on a football stadium so you can come cheer our league. Wow, that is unbelievable. All right. Um, what should I do, David? Should I uh, take a couple phone calls or should I break? We're in this sort of no man's land here. 314. Let's take Ross right now, McGraw. 314 969 KTRS, 1 888 550 KTRS or star KTRS. Ross, you are first up on the Big 550 KTRS. Hey, McGraw. Uh, yeah, you know, if they're going to not punish uh, an employee of the team, say, because Tom Brady's an he is employed by the Patriots, then the NFL needs to punish the team as, in, as a whole. So if one of your players commits misconduct, then say the team forfeits four games instead of a four-game suspension for the player. Well, the team was penalized. The team did not fight the penalty. They were suspended. I want to say a million dollars, lost a draft pick or whatever else. So the team accepts responsibility. The two... Ball boys were fired. They, ex- I guess, accepted responsibility, or at least somebody said they did wrong. So, therefore, they're suspended, never to be heard from again. Tom Brady destroys his cell phone, will not cooperate with the investigation. He gets off scot free. Right. Well, see, and it, well, it goes uh, to like everyday life. Say uh, a company is some subcontract with one company, an employee does something wrong. So uh, the other company says, well, your employee did wrong. You need to fire this employee. And they say, well, no. Well, then the other company has every right to fire the company that employed the employee. Uh, I, so maybe, maybe. Uh, no, 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 know, no, 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 no. That's, that's not this at all, Ross. Thanks for the, for the phone call. This is a situation where 
you have, and I know football is a little different than regular business, right? It's a different, I mean, it's just different. There are some things that are similar, some things that are different. So I understand that. But this is this is a negotiated co- labor contract between the players and the owners. Forget what he did. What what he did or didn't do is, is meaningless. The NFL decides that whatever he did wrong or didn't do wrong, he deserves a four-game suspension. That was negotiated between the players and the unions. And the players and the unions decided that Roger Goodell would have the authority to suspend players or punish players for wrongdoings that he thinks they committed. And so he did that. And now the court goes in and changes a labor contract that was negotiated. The, the players got something in return for, for, for dropping this. So the owners, if I'm an owner, I am outraged over this because Tom Brady wins. And so now Roger Goodell has basically no authority to penalize any player anytime, anywhere, at any time because this arbitrary judge just decides – that no, that we didn't like that. That was, you know, that there was no evidence. There, it doesn't matter what the what the particulars were. The bottom line is that they went into a negotiated labor contract and decided that what was a negotiated right between the two parties was null and void based on this judge. Again. That is an activist judge. I don't know if he's liberal, conservative, who appointed him, but that is an activist judge, and that is wrong. It is 9.30. ABC News has the latest. Another victory for the Super Bowl champion New England Patriots and quarterback Tom Brady. He has beaten the NFL in deflate gate, a major defeat for NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Let's get the latest. ABC's Aaron Katursky. In a 40-page decision, Judge Richard Berman overturned Tom Brady's four-game suspension imposed for football tampering during the AFC title game. The judge said the suspension was based on several significant legal deficiencies. The judge faulted the league for failing to properly warn Brady he could be disciplined and failed to give Brady access to all the evidence against him. The ruling frees Brady to play in the Patriots' regular season opener next week. Maybe he's Eric Kutersky, so Brady will be a quarterback when the Pats begin their defense of their championship a week from tonight when they play the Steelers in Foxborough again. Federal judge has nullified the NFL's four-game suspension of Tom Brady. For those underinflated footballs, you can be sure there's jubilation among Pats fans in Boston. Doug Limerick. ABC News. 931. We'll line up the phone calls. 314-969-KTRS, 1-888-550-KTRS, or star KTRS. Those are the phone numbers. A judge overturns Tom Brady's suspension. Wow. That is unbelievable. St. Mary's High School, ladies and gentlemen, is on South Grand, right very next to Saint, uh, right next to uh, Ted Drews. And it's been there for a long, long time. St. Mary's, uh, all boys, Catholic high school is a wonderful opportunity for your child. Are you thinking about high schools and you're starting to look at high schools now that another school year started? Boy, they grow up so fast. Can I recommend just checking out St. Mary's High School? They have new STEM classes, STEM, science, technology, um, uh, engineering, and math. They prepare students for careers of the future. Their current technology courses include digital media and architectural design and graphic arts and animation and everything else, understanding law and earth and space sciences as well as fitness. Uh, St. Mary's All Boys is a Catholic school in the Marinist tradition, and some of the finest St. Louis families have sent their kids to St. Mary's, and it's close to just about everything, 15, 20 minutes from everywhere. So you're looking at high schools for the young one? Think St. Mary's, or at least Check them out, stmarysstl.com. Meet me. Plus, Head of the Roads with Ed Smear. Ed? And right now, we are still looking at accidents on northbound 270. This is just before 44. It's on the right shoulder, and traffic is stop and go from Gravoy. 64 eastbound heavy traffic from Laclede Station to Big Bend. Outside of that, we've got lots of road work, but nothing else causing any big delays. Traffic is brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. Wondering if your battery is on its way out? Stop by Advance, and they'll test it for you free of charge at Advance Auto Parts from the KTRS Traffic Center. I'm Ed Smith. Marin on the Big 550 KTRS. Another hot day on tap for the St. Louis area. Our afternoon looks much like the last couple of afternoons. Sunshine, it's hazy, it's hot, it's humid. 
Late summer weather, temperatures into the low 90s with a southwest breeze. Tonight's low, 75 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Not much change for Friday, back into the low 90s with partly sunny conditions again. I'm Fox 2 meteorologist Chris Higgins for the Big 550 KTRS. And right now it's day 2 with partly cloudy skies right here at the Big 550 KTRS. This is McGraw Live on KPLR 11.2, stltoday.com, and the 